Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Montgomery. <laughs> okay, I'm inside the house for this week and I was surprised. You know, it's funny, I saw this house on the MLS and it's a beautiful home. It looks like this huge estate and it is. So I was excited to look at this property, make a video about this home. But then I got here and it became just super obvious <laughs> what the problems were with this house. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful house. It's not brand new. There are some minor flaws. I mean, it's not brand new. So what, it was built in 2014, it's 10 years old now. So of course you're gonna see some things that are not perfect, it's been lived in. But I wanna show you something. As an appraiser, we see this and it, it just blows my mind when I see this thing happen. And I think it explains why, well, I don't know. It hasn't been on the market that long, so we'll kinda see what's going on. But make sure you stay tuned for this tour. I think it's kinda interesting. At the beginning, I'm gonna show you something really crazy. Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I hit my goal of 7,000 subscribers. I appreciate all you guys subbing and please continue to stay tuned with me. It's really encouraging. I really enjoy the feedback you guys share and I love the comments. You guys crack me up. Anyway, let's get to the video. Actually, before we go to see the rest of this house, I mean, you can kind of get a little sneak peek here. All right, I'm gonna take you outside. Okay. All right, just a typical neighborhood, right? Now over here, you can kind of see we have a little strip mall retail area. There's a restaurant, look like Pasa Thai, Thai restaurant, a shoe repair. So nice little area. We have an office building right here. Might be a medical office building. And then we have some residential properties over here. So you kind of see how this is made up, the makeup of this area. Now it's loud. <laughs> You guys know how I am about these um, these busy roads. I certainly was not expecting it to be this loud. You know, sometimes you just kind of have a visual in your mind when you see an MLS photo and you just see the house sitting there. You kind of envision, oh, okay, this is probably the community, what it's gonna look like. But this one really surprised me. All right, so you kind of see how the houses are. We got something that's a little bit newer. This one was probably remodeled. It's really nice. But then we have some older houses and there's nothing wrong with that. But now I'm gonna take you to the house that is the subject of this video. And it does sit right on this busy road. So you're gonna get some noise, but let me show you the house. Boom, there it is. Over 5,000 square feet of luxury. There is not another single house in this neighborhood that's even close to the size of this home. And quite frankly, this house looks like it would be sitting, if you look at it, just like right there. This is the MLS photo. And it looks like it would be sitting on acres and acres of land. But you know, I didn't even look at the, the lot size when I pulled it up and that's not a big deal. But um, you can kind of see my hoopty there. But yeah, it was really deceptive. So I'm curious to see how long this house is gonna stay on the market. I'm just walking around. I mean, it's huge for the neighborhood. And here is our backyard. Not much, it's big enough to hold this boat trailer that's parked in the back here. This is your patio area, in fact and right on the other side of that wall is holding the noise but yeah so this is the house they have like a little outdoor kitchen um, i imagine you would uh come over here you kind of have some furniture and all that good stuff because you know you don't want to just be sitting on this now right now this is not very inviting in terms of how it looks it certainly has been used then we come back over here to the rest of this house um this is our driveway area 
and you know it's a little overgrown you can kind of see there's some weeds growing up in here so you know i was just really really surprised when i saw this house i'm gonna go up these stairs right here this might be kind of cool i don't see anything crazy a little bit of overgrowth but it's that time of year when house is vacant then you're gonna see things like that so let me go on inside here this is the entry you guys have already had a little sneak peek of that yeah let's talk about location 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 also you just got to pay attention to you know does the house fit the neighborhood there's nothing wrong with the design of this home in another neighborhood but i question whoever decided to build this house in this neighborhood, I question what kind of advisement they ignored. <laughs> they ignored somebody's advice. So here we go. This is our, I think this is our dining room because they actually have another dining room over there. So this is a, this is an additional dining room that they decided to, to add in this home. And you know, again, there's nothing wrong with the house. If you took it on and placed it on another, um, in another location i think you might have you know more opportunity now this is a study with built-in bookshelves it's pretty cool i think they're reasonably well made it looks like um i suspect that this was built when the these were built in when the house was built they weren't added later because this house again is only 10 years old so they probably did all that this is probably a custom build Let's see, we're gonna go back over here. Ah, we got an elevator. Oh, that's cool. And who knows if it's working. Let's see, the door is not opening, so I don't know what's going on with that. Then we have our, one of the powder rooms here with the custom sink. That's kind of neat, I like that. That would be really cool in a, um, a log cabin home. You can imagine something like that. And you know, it's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it here. I think it's pretty, pretty fun to have. Again, we're going back. So this is if you came into the study, if you were doing something and then you would have the powder room over here. This is a laundry room that they would use at some point. Let me turn off this light. That's a cool light fixture. I like that. All right. So this is our main family room, living room. Wow, that is quite a chandelier there. That is certainly to one's taste. Some people will like it and some people won't. <laughs> That's just, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Whoever buys this home likely is going to change that within two years, <laughs> okay? But it would be quite a project. Um, again, wow. Okay, is this another dining room? <laughs> I mean, this is pretty cool. I'm suspecting this is a dining room. One of the, one of the telltales for me, at least when I'm when I'm saying something is a dining room, is that they um, the the chandelier is pretty low because most people wouldn't be able to walk under that. Okay, so that means a table would probably be sitting here. So. I am so far counting three. We've gone through two dining room areas and they actually had a TV um, set up over here. So who knows, maybe there was something else they were doing with it. I mean, and whoever owned this house was planning, at least they had a lifestyle where there would be a lot of guests, a lot of, you know, they would entertain a lot of people. So it makes sense to have those kinds of um, seating areas and lots of open space so people can kind of be together. Now I am in the kitchen and another <laughs> eating area. It's a pr pretty cool kitchen, you know, a little bit dated. The cabinets are certainly a, an older style done to the previous owner's taste, but you know, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, you got, got some appliances, We've got our hood. This is certainly the monogram hood and, and, and stove here. Um, I think, okay, yeah, we have our dishwasher. But yeah, you're, it's a typical kitchen setup. What do you guys think? I wanna hear your comments. Do you like this kitchen? Do you think it's old and dated? Or is it something that you would kind of work with or, you know, I wanna hear your opinions on it. The boxes are actually in pretty good shape, at least based off of this one. 
So there's a good chance you might just change the fronts if you were gonna do anything with this. Let's see if they uh, left us any, um, oh man, no water. <laughs> you know, sometimes people leave beverages, not that I ever drink any of them, but it's kind of neat to see, you know, that they would do it. And that's an older TV. It's funny how TVs have changed. Now we come back over to this. Wow, oh my goodness. So now we have another eating area, dining room area, and yet a possible another one here. So one, two, three, I think, what did we count? Four, five, like that one, there was one is like a breakfast area. So that's five. I'm guessing this is like for the young people. I don't know, but yeah, a lot of eating going on in this house, <laughs> that's for sure. And there is nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's see, let me go find my way upstairs. So I think I've seen the entire main level. Again, another, another chandelier. It matches the one that's in that one, in that room. Okay. So we have this catwalk up here that we're on. That's a cool view. And they have a washing machine up here. That's pretty nice. It's always cool. You don't have to go all the way down to the basement to, um, to wash your laundry. All right, so we have a bedroom. Looks like these floors are new. And yeah, because they're much different. Let me show you. So these are the floors that were throughout the rest of the home, probably original. And then over here, you have these new floors. I'm curious as to why they decided to go to this lighter floor. Nothing wrong with it, but I'm just kind of curious about that. And here we have a bathroom and this is a shared bathroom because now we have another bedroom over here lots of space oh look at that little little chandelier little blue chandelier so this is probably <laughs> i'm guessing a kid's room <laughs> okay with the blue chandelier that's pretty cool and closet space over here not too bad so we're on this end here, let's see. Then we have another bedroom here, and this one has its own chandelier. <laughs> this is the house of chandeliers, <laughs> which is cool. I like chandeliers, those are kind of cool. And then we have, okay, what's going on here? All right, this is a um, bathroom, another bathroom, and okay, and they share this bathroom. Wow, that's kind of, kind of weird. So you got these two doors. If you go in from here, I could see these knocking into each other like I just did anyway. And then you go into this bedroom here with dark floors that don't match the dark floors. This is a different floor from the main, the other floors, the other dark wood, as you can see. So we got a lot of different, <laughs> different floors and different chandeliers. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this house. Let me get back on track here. Okay, now let's see. Now this is probably our main bedroom and all right, look at that suite. That's pretty cool. Of course, chandeliers. You know what? I think you guys, someone was teasing me about me <laughs> with these light fixtures. I don't know. I think Clearly, they add design impact, you know, to a home, and I think it's pretty cool. I always wonder when they're too custom or when they don't fit the rest of the home. This is one that I would question, you know, what was going on because the other ones are so ornate, and this is more of a rustic style. Was this something that was built originally and they changed all the other chandeliers, or they just did someone just kind of fall in love with that style? Kind of curious about that. Because in the same room, we have like this sitting area, and then they have this chandelier right here, which does not match that chandelier. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> all I do is look at houses all day, every day, and I just kind of know what I like and what I observe. So 
I want to know what you guys think. Do you even like that chandelier, especially in this home and, you know, with, with everything else going on? Here is the, um, the bathroom. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. So this is a tub. It's beautiful. Um, we got the, you know, got the tub here. It's not jetted, which I think is fine. But then you come over to this shower area and the door is so small. I mean, it feels, it's kind of interesting that they designed it that way. Then we have, um, you know, it's a large shower. You can just walk straight on in. All right, I'm trying to tear things up here. I didn't take off my shoes today, by the way. Normally I do, but I think I got caught up because I was walking outside first and then making this video. Anyway, yeah, it just seems sort of enclosed for what we got going on. All right, so we're going to go look. Here we have the closet. All right, it's a nice size closet. It's a little smaller to compare to today's standards. You know, you start seeing these massive closets. Actually, what I, enough, this is another thing I find interesting. This is a big house. <laughs> this is a very small closet. I mean, this is a big house and you can see that I'm like shoulder to shoulder on this closet. I hope you can see that. And yeah, it's a little tight right here for this big house. Oh no. You know, it's big enough for me because <laughs> I don't have a ton. I don't keep a ton of clothes, but yeah. And I do believe that these are, these were, these are not built into, into the house. These are probably actually cabinets that are, I don't know if they're attached to this wall. So they're moving quite a bit. You know, I can see up here, there's a little bit of a gap between the ceiling and the top. So it gives me the impression that these were not, I don't know, they might've been secured. This might be an Ikea setup. And then they kind of trimmed it out a little bit, but you can kind of see there's a gap here. So it's not built into the, into the house. I don't know, for a 5,000 square foot house, this bathroom in this closet is a little, a little bit lacking, especially when you consider you know, how grand this house looked from the outside. All right, so I'm gonna go make my way down to the basement. I found the basement and I'm gonna make my way out down here. Interesting. You know, <laughs> when you have a house like this, the details matter. And for some reason, I'm just kind of like, I'm stuck on the details because I'm not impressed. And I'm thinking of what would a potential buyer think about this house. As an appraiser, that's the way I'm observing this, right? And so I'm looking at this, um, you know, little details like this handrail, right? The paint color on this rail just seems a bit off. And then like when you have like these gaps, I don't know, there's just something about this. And so it makes me think like, if you look, the paint here, the rail does not match the wood. Now that that is not a deal breaker by any stretch, you know, in a normal situation. But you kind of have to think about the situation, right? Oh boy, <laughs> all right. I just found a whole nother surprise. Anyway, I'm gonna show that to you guys last. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> you'll see it later. All right, we got this kitchen, a whole kitchen in the basement. Man, oh man, oh man. Now they just, they took a whole kitchen and stuffed this, they stuffed a whole Viking double wide, super wide, where you can't even open the the cat the door all the way. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> By the way, this is not even what I'm talking about, guys. I have something else I just want you to see in this house that I looked around the corner and I saw it. Anyway, so you'll see it in a little bit. You can kind of see where they had they did some lights up there. They put some LED lights around the trim. You know, trying to, you know, have some fun. Everybody has fun in their house. So I can't knock that. When you live in a house, you're gonna do some little things that when you move out, look weird, <laughs> okay? So people do things to houses, they move out, and then I will come in and look at them when they're when the house is vacant, and it just looks weird. Like, what, what in the world were they doing? 
But we have, you know, it's the details. Like, why is this light not flush with the, you know, that one is a little better, <laughs> but then this one is, is in, okay? Then we have um, this area here. Of course, we're gonna be sitting to eat down here. Another eating area in this house. Wow, low chandelier. Let's check this out. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I can't wait to hear your comments on this one. <laughs> Cause it is quite fascinating. And then we have this bathroom here. Um, I think this house has been vacant for a while. And the reason I say that is because this toilet is, is dry. There's no water in there. So it gives me the impression that this house is vacant. Then we have another area with a centered chandelier. I'm guessing they had a pool table here. I hope they had a pool table because yet another seating area would just be kind of interesting. But yeah, this is a house that they, you know, they designed this house for entertaining. All right, it's quite, quite obvious. I think they decided to do a, a miniature theater, maybe? Okay, yeah, um, here's your seating. Now, you're gonna be sitting on this hard um, banquette, <laughs> if you would. Man, oh man, oh man. This is a home. That was where the um, TV or a screen used to be. That might seat maybe about four people. And there's, there's no cushion on that, by the way. That's just wood with some kind of carpet. And then here's our media, media closet. So you can set everything up, plug it in. You have your TV, you got surround sound, you got your speakers. This was not professionally designed. This is something that a homeowner or maybe a contractor would, they have the, they have some skill, but they just don't have the, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this house is quite interesting. But yeah, I'm guessing they probably had a pool table over here. And sure enough, we got another hangout area over here. Wouldn't surprise me if they were doing some more eating. All right, let me see what's down here. I don't know if I even, did I see a, um, oh, okay, we do have a garage, because I was just thinking about that. Does this house have a garage? Do I remember seeing one? Of course I did, because we saw that driveway it was overgrown. Let's look back here. I don't want to get locked out, but I want to see what they have going on over here. Okay, and this is just storage area. All right, that's not too bad. This house does need some storage area because they are using up, look at that cool scooter. They are using up the, um, the home. Okay, so you guys wanna see what I saw <laughs> when I came down here? I'm gonna show it to you. Yep. All right, I'm hiding it from you. It comes with an indoor pool. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> and these stairs, you better watch your step because they are narrow. Man, they have a whole indoor, above ground <laughs> swimming pool. And um, let's see, no diving. What is this? What is this right here? I'm trying to figure out this setup. What is this going on? I wonder if this is like a, a lap pool. They were using it as a lap pool, but that does not look like anything that pulls water. I, I could be, in, oh, you know what? I think it is. It is one of, those, one of those mechanisms where it makes the water flow. So down there, you can see where the water would go, would come up this way, and then it would flow to there. So you have like, basically you could do laps in here without, without um, going anywhere, basically, okay? And um, yeah, this is an older model. I have seen these in the, you know, you go to the hot tub stores and you see them in there, you know, they've changed the technology a whole lot. But yeah, you got your own indoor pool. <laughs> All right. And then that takes you out there to the outdoors where we were, um, we were out there earlier. So, oh, I got another detail I need to show you. Yeah, this is kind of what I'm talking about here. These little things here. I don't know what's going on, but the, the color is bleeding onto the, onto the wood. That's not a good impression. Anyway, let me turn off the lights in this house, in the basement at least, and then we'll go talk about the numbers, all right? You already have some general idea. Okay, you've seen it. What do you think? Wow, man. <laughs> this house, 
so much potential. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen and I'm like looking around this kitchen, the main one here, and I'm seeing like some other things like the cooking triangle. You guys know about the cooking triangle. That's where you have like your sink and your refrigerator and your um, your stove kind of in a triangle because then that way it's efficient when you're in the kitchen and you're moving around, all right? And you know, it's just, there's so many things about this house when they did it. Let me just show this to you, okay? This is before I even go over the numbers. I gotta show this to you. So you kind of see like we have the kitchen here. I mean, the sink here. And then you have the microwave here, and then you have the cooktop here, and then you have ovens way over there, and then you have the refrigerator, which is smaller than that huge Viking <laughs> refrigerator downstairs, by the way. But then they have that there. So it just violates that whole flow. You know, you're gonna be like cooking here, you gotta wash all the way over here. Then you gotta run track and put on your track shoes and get all back all the way to the fridge. The door probably doesn't open on the wall and so on and so on and so on. So it just gets a little, a little bit crazy. I just happen to notice that there's so many things with this house that it makes me wonder how long it's gonna take to sell. So let's just talk about it, okay? I've already told you, the house, according to the assessor, um, I'm in McLean, Virginia, by the way, it's just over 5,500 square feet. They are asking 2.3 million, 2,350,000 dollars. There is an additional 3,000, it looks like, or 2,500 in the basement. So you got about 8,000 square feet total based on what the county records has. Um, what, we got like five bedrooms. We got, <laughs> man, no, 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 no. Okay, so including the basement, there was a bedroom down there. Uh, we have um, five total bathrooms. They didn't even mark, there was a powder room, so they didn't put that down in their record here. It's only been on the market for 34 days. You know, that's not too bad, I mean, for this price range. But I'm curious, do you guys think it will sell quickly or will this be one of those that stays on the market for a long time? Do you think it'll stay over 100, over 200, or what? Anyway, let me know. I can't wait to read your comments on this home. I know it's gonna be hilarious. But I appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you on the next one.